Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad, welcome to Rad Kutarot, and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising. Weekly tarot reading April 15th to April 21st, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Pisces star sign. And for that reason, uh, this reading is going to relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Pisces. But uh, should you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in the future, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from uh, just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being set aside, going for the Pisces week here, we do have the general topic of the uh, Knight of uh, Cups, followed by the negative approach to the situation. This is going to be the uh, Two of Wands. After that, we do have the positive approach to the situation that is going to be the Three of Swords. And the last one that is going to be the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, we do have the Seven of Wands. So once again, Knight of Cups, followed by the Two of Wands. After that, it is the Three of Swords. And finally, we do have the Seven of Wands. My God. All right. So we do have someone here that you are going to just bust their balls, man. I mean, with the Knight of Cups, that most likely is going to be a suitor coming around, as the Knight of Cups is someone who follows their emotions. And as this is a general topic of your week, you know, their emotions presides with your environment or in you, that is. So <clears throat> even if this is a business cooperation, you should know that that person has bigger intentions than just, than just business, okay? Um, I, in case we're talking about a, a mutual interactions in the social circle or in general, this is someone that you date with, uh, you need to know that they're very persistent, but also the Knights of Cups, sometimes it's an empty talker. I mean, they, they do prone to promise things or to present themselves more mightier than they actually are. So that's why it is very important throughout this week that you put this man here or a woman that is on a test and it is exactly what you are going to do, guys. And oh my God, I mean, if you decide to keep them by your side, they will damn deserve it because the thing that you are going to put them through, it's it's no joke. It's no joke. Uh, but the accompanied card that is going to be the queen, uh, the uh, high priestess. And as the high priestess, especially in the relationship, signifies the bonds of souls. Or that could be your soulmate. If you believe in that. I personally don't, you know, because uh, according to Tarot, if you are meant to be, if you are meant to be happy, you will be, regardless whom with. I mean, you have the decision, you have the free will to make a decision, decision whom with. But here we are talking for a, a person who is very, very compatible with you. All right. Should you allow them, however, that is entirely your decision. And beforehand, they need to endure your test. Business partnership uh, with these cards, also it's quite va uh, valuable or uh, viable, that is, but it's going to take a, a long term of planning. I mean, you, you will have to reach a, a same page here and uh, you got to make a, uh, to this person clear that um, once they invest with you, there is simply no going back. I mean, they need to be, uh, be they need to be ready to do a, a long, long term investments here. If they are, uh, if they are incorporating into your business, just just to see what the soil is and then bail out, that's not a an option available. The thing with the Knights of Cups, however, the positive thing, you know, is that they don't rely on luck. I mean, if uh, if they like you, for example, as a, a suitor, that is, they will uh, stand out. And they will try to see or try to provoke you in any way to see if you like them, you know. So uh, that being said, it will be good if you don't hesitate to show your emotional interest. But only that, all right? We're going to see that in the next cards. But only this, you show your interest and nothing more than that until that person prove itself faithful and reliable for yourself. 
Uh, the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, that is the Two of Wands. And it kind of like comes very um, peculiar with this reading because the card itself tells you that you don't have to look very far. I mean, you don't have to seek for anything else than this uh, than this person. As the Two of Wands points that a grand achievement is a good thing, you know, I mean, you are, you have achieved well, uh, good things, but you need to expand on your achievements. Well, your achievement here throughout this week is the manifestation of the Knights of Cups. And as a negative uh, card, it means that you should not expand on new achievements, developing, you know, new things or rather like developing new relationships. That is until you don't exhaust this one. Now, for some of you, like I said, that could traverse into a very good business partnership or a very solid relationship. For others, it may not. It will depend on the end what you're going to decide. But even if, even if it isn't, it will teach you a, a very, very valuable lesson. And we're going to go there in a minute. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Hierophant card. And the formation is a active neutrals. So uh, these cards are pointing here that you need to stick to your beliefs, okay? And uh, uh, stick to your beliefs in the sense of that, uh, as I said, you have to put this person to a test. You need to make that person aware that emotions are not enough because emotions are just the initial momentum of one relationship. But only emotions are not enough for one relationship to survive. Maybe for the first couple of months, yeah, but not in the long run. What is needed for one relationship in the long, in the long run, according to the Hierophant, which is the positive manifestation of the card, is trust and reliability. If you don't trust that person and you they don't have your back, there is no relationship. There is only maybe sex, you know, and here and there a... Um, kind of like a, a pleasant moment, but they will be uh, sooner than later overridden by the poignant moments that you can have in between one another. So that is the test we're talking about here. You need to test their loyalty, you need to test their reliability, and as well the trust that you can have in them. Uh, that will happen through the Tree of Swords here. So um, one way and another, you need to speak the truth in a sense of that you need to speak out what kind of poignant experience you did had in the past. For example, if you recently broke up, you need to uh, reveal why you broke up with um, the previous partner of yours, what they did to you in emotional sense or maybe in a physical sense as well. And that will be the hint for the Knights of Cups. Or if uh, you kind of like had a poignant separation business-wise, you need to kind of like display it why and that person his job is to convince you other way around so this is what we are having here they need to convince you that they are not the previous person who hurt you and in the meantime with the tree of swords pisces you need to uh, heal yourself from the previous wound that you do had from your previous relationship or from your previous uh, job that you do had, or from a previous failure. Now, with the Tree of Swords, uh, healing from the, from the suffering is through the suffering itself. Drink through it, sleep through it, make sex through it if you have to. Just do whatever it's necessary in order to suffer through it and just liberate yourself from that suffering and from that pain as well. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the Two of Cups. And wow, that is a powerful message, guys. I mean, holding on grudge and pain and poignant experience within yourself because the formation is active neutrals is no soil for love. Love cannot thrive where one holds negative emotions. It simply doesn't work that way or a cooperation for that matter. And just look at that example, all right? Let's say you make a relationship with this new guy that comes around, that suitor, but you still have a thing for your partner. You will constantly going to compare both, all right? And this is not a soil that love can thrive. So you have to completely, like I said, liberate yourself from the previous poignant experience from the previous uh, breakup that you do had maybe recently, or it could be as well a distant one that you couldn't shake off yourself from it, 
or from a, a firing of your job and so on and so forth. Because even if it is a new job, you will constantly going to compare both, you know, and again, you will continue on experiencing the pain that you don't have to experience. Now, the thing with the Tree of Swords is that as long as the mind fights the emotions, one is going to feel lost. That's why the mind needs to allow the emotions to burst out, to flow, you know. And as a result of all that, we go to the Seven of Wands at the end. So Seven of Wands, it does depend how you're going to take at the end, what, how this person is going to pass your exam or your test. They may fail or they may pass it, all right? So if they pass it, the Seven of Swords, uh, the Seven of Wands, excuse me, this represents that you are to establish a, a very well-found boundaries of new cooperation or a relationship which will be strong enough to resist temptation okay if that person doesn't pass the test then you alone resisted the, te the temptation to jump into something seemingly uh beautiful but in the same time its core was rather rotten and the accompanied card here that is going to be the nine of cups and this is where you are going to, uh, at the end, uh, you're going to uh, convince yourself or rather recognize for yourself the really good things, uh, good things that are good in the long run happen slowly. They don't happen miraculously. So even if that person seems very suitable, very fitable, either for a business or for being a lover, you know, or for being for a relationship, should you allow him uh, straight away without putting him under the test, is going to be a short term one. That's why that's what you're going to recognize in the end. And you will be grateful for uh, that you kind of resisted the temptation here to give yourself away completely beforehand before you actually testing the person either uh, their um, you know their faithfulness their uh, their are they trustworthy as well the reliability and so on and so forth and instead of betting on a, a chance here you actually bet on a sustainable and quite foreseeable future at the end so that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading, April 15th to April 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And as said at the start of the video, this is a general reading for Pisces star sign. And for that reason, the reading itself is going to relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Pisces. But should you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it in the future, that is the subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Right signing up now. See you next time. Bye.